<laughs> we bounce to the high class. Ridley Scott! Apparently in American cinemas, people like stand up and clap and shit. We don't do that here. Not even on Force Awakens. <laughs> um, maybe there was a couple of like, woo, but that was about it. But I wonder if people did that for Alien in America. They were just like, whoa, hey, it is the Alien movie we have always wanted. We are excited about this. Oh, it's Christopher Eccleston from uh, Thor 2. <laughs> what the hell? What, what is going on here? Um, I guess we'll find out soon enough. Okay, so a ship came down and then he drank some weird stuff and then the ship went away. What the fuck? He's transforming. Is he going to transform into the alien right away? And then it's like, that is the backstory <laughs> to Alien. Someone ate some random juice and became aliens. Hello. Did you date it? Did you date it? I'm like fucking I'm Tom Hardy. Did you do it? I'm Tom Hardy. Did you do it? It's not Tom Hardy. It's not Tom Hardy. It's not Tom Hardy. It's this guy right here. It's not Tom Hardy, people. But he is basically the same person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Magneto. I do know that this guy's an android. I've had that, like, spoiled for me. Not really spoiled, but just someone mentioned it. It damn well hurts. Certainly it hurts. What has he done to his hair? Charlize Theron, one of my favourite actresses. Awesome in Monster. Really great movie, that one. Oh, she was doing the thing at the start with the star charty looking thing. Right, okay, everything's connecting. I was starting to wonder like why they showed that scene. So everything's just, everything's all nice and tight now, so I'm happy about that. What the hell is that? It's Christmas. It's Christmas. It's good. Hey, I said it Sometimes before. I've been asleep two years. I ain't here to be your friend. I made him hate money. Very subtle. You gotta have that character who dies first and is the massive dickhead. My name is Peter Wayland. I am your employer. I am recording this 22 Have they CGI'd his 2091. face? You've reached your destination. <laughs> no fucking way. That is absolutely awful. I'm guessing the reason he looks like that is because there's going to be another version of that character who's young. Cloud Atlas did that as well, where they had the young version of him and the old version of him. That better be the case anyway, because then at least it's justified. Otherwise, I could have just got an old man to play this character. It looks awful. It's so bad. This one here is our most recent discovery. It's a 35,000-year-old 35 cave painting from the Isle of... 35. These are... 35. Civilizations that were separated by... 35. 5. 35. Has a son. Nice. So you're saying we're here because of a map you two kids found in a cave, is that right? Okay, why is that guy on the mission? Like, who would who would employ that guy for this no. mission? He better have a fucking good skill set. They engineered us. Bullshit. <laughs> why wasn't this explained before they got there? It feels like they should all have known this information before they got to this moon. I, as a dumbass audience member, seeing all those star charts wow, from like thousands of years ago i'm like oh that's pretty interesting it's like that it's all connected that, that's worth yeah. investigating but these guys who are like professionals in whatever they're professionals in they're like oh it's fucking bollocks <laughs> forced conflict is the word there yes, i'm fairly certain your engineers are nothing but scribblings of savages living in dirty little caves why are they so resistant to this it doesn't make any sense this is just like, this is just silly. Two minutes without a suit, you're dead. Gotta have that Scottish representation in the movies, haven't you? Alright, we're at the planet from the start of the movie, back when I kind of liked what I was seeing, and then it introduced the characters, and I was like, <sighs> There is nothing in the desert, and no man needs nothing. There is no man on Earth that could possibly have a voice like this one that I am forcing the floor. It must be a robot voice. It's Christmas, Captain, and I want to open my presents. <laughs> you, boy. Uh, well, that wasn't the worst That's line he could have said, I guess. It's Christmas time, and I'm going to open my presents. Fucking Tom Hardy badassery. Oh, nice. They've all literally got name tags that make my job a lot easier of trying to remember who all these fucking characters are. I beg your pardon. You know, I like how they all have like last names. And then he's just like, David. I was designed like this. Because you people are more comfortable interacting with your own kind. Mm. If I didn't wear the suit, it would defeat the purpose. That's from another film as well, but I can't think what it is off the top of my head. Red Dwarf, that was it. There's an episode when um, 
They go into like a unreality where Lister is a robot, but he's less advanced than Crichton, who looks like a robot. And they're basically saying Lister is less advanced, even though he looks more advanced, because people found it disturbing the robots look too human. So they made Crichton, who's more advanced, look like shit, so that they'd be more comfortable with the idea. So they've actually gone for the opposite on this. Which one's right, Red Dwarf or this? I feel like I agree more with the Red Dwarf. I think it's more disturbing for a robot to look more human. Pups. My pups. Okay, so he's the robot, the robot guy. Couldn't he have just taken his robots and then just left him by saying, Yeah, your robots are really cool, mate. Really good. But you are a fucking prick, so you're not coming. We'll just take your robots. It's breathable. Charlie, don't be an idiot. Hey, don't be a skeptic. Right? There's something generating an atmosphere. Dr. Holloway is correct. Cleaner than Earth, actually. Please, don't do that. Look, Ellie, Charlie, why not do it? Like, why not do it? Like, like They've said that it's fine. Uh, the, the scientific equipment has said that it's good. Woo! <laughs> you crazy bastard. Why? What would be the point in having that stuff if you're not going to trust it? Calm down. Uh, anyway, David. David's touching some shit again. Yeah. He's like doing some weird shit. Oh, what? What the hell? What the hell was that? Oh, they look back. Oh, really glad we didn't bring any oh. was that a exactly message from the past? That? And they were running away from something, and the last guy was looking back. Oh, they're, they're definitely running away from something. That is what it is. It's just how this head chopped off. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. I'm, like, then? predicting all the movies. I like rocks. I love rocks. Now, it's clear you two don't give a shit about rocks. Was there no, was there no other candidates for the geology position? A geologist with 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 robot things. Like, in the job interview, did they not think, like, OK, well, this guy's got the robots, which are pretty cool, but this guy isn't a complete piece of shit. So we'll ask the guy with the robots if we can have his robots and like pay him some money for the robots and then bring them the good geologist to work with the robots. Like, it feels like they could have done that. That was definitely an option. That looks familiar. I might just be thinking wrongly, but I thought that might have been the head of the thing in the chair. In the first alien movie when the team are investigating the ship with all the alien eggs. Oh wow, life. They got like worms in that. David, stop touching random shit. You'll get, you'll get ill. I know you're a robot, but you'll get ill. Oh shit. David! This... This is why you don't touch things. Look, you've, you've made it piss black we now. And it's gonna turn the worm, little wiggly worms, into xenomorphs for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be really lazy, actually, if that's all it is. Some unexplained black shit touching some worms makes the alien... <laughs> It'd be like maybe the start of a chain reaction for Whoa! You crazy bitch! God damn it! God, God damn it! <laughs> Good job, David. You saved the David. I saved the David with my little winch thing. Compromised the entire mission, not to mention almost killing yourself. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a helmet. Oh. Ah, it's Christopher Eccleston. <laughs> it's not. It's not even Christopher Eccleston. <laughs> but I'm just gonna say it is. Oh, uh, 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 ah, that's, cre uh, that's creepy. Oh my god. Oh, he's got that black shit in him, like with the wiggly worms. Oh my god. It's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow up. Oh man, that was nasty shit. <laughs> Fuck. Like, the black shit's gonna, like, it's gonna affect something. I mean, it's already gotten to the wiggly worms, but... Yeah, yeah, so there's those two people who are left behind, and the wiggly worms are gonna, like, attack them. And... Why is she just standing there like that? That was so... <laughs> that was so unnatural. <laughs> what did he say? He said, try harder. And he didn't mean try harder, like with the mission. He said try harder, as in like she is a fucking try harder. Like she is try harding so much at being like a cold, ruthless bitch. DNA match. Oh my god. 
human. David, stop it! You can't c c go around just touching weird things. Like, you don't even have your gloves on now. Am I interrupting? I'm Tom Hardy and I'm fucking badass. <sighs> and that's why I'm not in these kind of movies doing this kind of thing. What we hope to achieve was to meet our makers, to get answers. Why they... why they even made us in the first place. <laughs> Feels like they're doing the midpoint of the movie where it's like, all is lost. But, but like, it's, it's just starting. Like, you got there, you found some black shit, you found a guy's head and then it blew up and then it's like, oh, we found out they're human. Like, well, well, alright, what's, what's going on here then? Oh, that burgundy fro. One click Burgundy throw. I think I have a shirt like that. Yeah, I think I have a shirt like that. Hang on. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> if you want to get laid, you really don't have to pretend to be interested in the pyramid scam. I mean, you could just say, hey, I'm trying to get laid. <laughs> I could. I could say that, right? But then it wouldn't make sense why I would fly myself a half a billion miles from every man on Earth. Well... Cause you got, you got, you got to do, your, you got to do your job, and you probably knew there were going to be guys on the ship. So, you, so I don't know, does that that argument doesn't really work that well? I've got to tell you. My room. Ten minutes. There we go. Well, was that so difficult to admit? Oh shit! They're in the room with the black shit. They're all gonna die. Here we go. Come in for me. That's beautiful. Okay. You guys should not be getting that close to these things. You're fucking morons. You pick eight people to go on this mission into outer space where anything can happen. How did these two make the cut? You're strong. Maybe you should help me now, okay? Get it off that, okay? It's gonna break his arm, and you fucking deserve it. Oh! Oh, yep, there's the acid blood. Oh, shit. Oh. It's gonna go in his mouth, I just know it. It's the only place it can go. Oh! Yeah. Oh, my God. Savage. Fucking morons, seriously. How, like, seriously, fuck, fuck them. Ooh. Fucking pink eye. What were you two doing? Nice. David, are you alone? Kind of sounded like she wanted to fuck David, just then. Would that technically make him a dildo? Because he's a robot. That's interesting. David. David. You're touching things again. At least he's got his gloves on this time. Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh man, it's too late. It's too late for Tom Hardy. He's turning into Christopher Eccleston, whether you like it or not. Oh! Fucking hell! They killed Tom Hardy. I'm going to have to take this. Maybe contaminated. You're pregnant. Oh, here we go. Right, so she's pregnant with Tom Hardy's Christopher Eccleston baby. Our best option. I want it out. Put you back into cryostasis. Until we return to Earth. Please, get it out of me. Get it out of me! Please. Ah! Oh shit, is it gonna burst out of her already? Why didn't they put her in cryostasis right away? Like, I mean, he just said they were gonna put her in cryostasis anyway, so why didn't they just do that straight away? Minimize any risk, just, oh shit, she's got this thing, cryostasis immediately, and then deal with it when we get back. I guess so that we could have this scene, but. Doesn't really make that much sense. I need a cesarean. Error. This med pod is calibrated for male patients only. And doesn't <laughs> well, well, that's a bit shit, isn't it? Get it out! Come on! Please! Oh, mm. oh, I'm getting flashbacks to the good oh, alien movies. Oh. It's gonna go pop! Oh, it's gonna go pop! Okay, this scene does have a lot of tension, to be fair. This will be the first time anyone survived one of these chest busters if, um, in an alien film, anyway. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Fucking hell, that is. That is. 
brutal. Oof, this, all right, this scene kind of is worth all that bitching I was just doing. That was a pretty damn good sequence, I gotta tell you. Just fucking. Yeah, gas that piece of shit. She has had quite a day. Tom Hardy turned into Christopher Eccleston. Died. That sucks. Uh, robot's starting to become a bit of a creep. And she's just had to give herself an, an abortion to an a from an alien. Oh shit, that guy's still alive. The fucking prick guy from earlier. Wow. Oh, wow. Jesus. This guy is savage. He is something else. Right, so far the action the action has been pretty cool in this movie, I gotta say. Right, it hasn't really been a bit where I've been like, oh that looks like shit. Like the CGI has been like like fine. The only the only bit that was bad was literally the old man like, at the start. That was like so bad. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Wayland is here with his uh, shitty CGI face. Nah, it looks like makeup now, actually. It looks like CGI before, but now it looks like makeup. But yeah, it, it just looks like, either way, it just looks like a young person in old person makeup. <laughs> You've always got to love this in movies when it's like, my point needs to be more dramatic, therefore I must stand up. Just stay sat down. There's really no need for this. Well, I, I get that. I was I was I was, fe I was feeling that conversation just then. Stand up. What? Not a concept I'm familiar with. That being said, doesn't everyone want their parents dead? What a stupid line. I That's just a sh what the fuck did that even mean? Uh, doesn't everyone want their parents dead? Just no. Us. Hooray! There's a Christopher Eccleston alive. This conversation or whatever has to kind of redeem, has to redeem a lot. Ask him what's in his cargo. It killed his people. Sure, enough, David. You made it here, and, and it was meant for us. Why? Sure, enough. I can't take shut her up. What's it? <laughs> I need to know why. What did we do wrong? It's fucking good questions. Like they should have wrote, a, they should have wrote a list of questions beforehand, so that this would be a bit less chaotic. <gasps> Oh. David is dead. You have to stop it. We're not stopping anything, Shaw. We're going home. Danik, if you don't stop it, there won't be a home to go back to. It's, it's carrying death. I can handle this myself. Feel free to join Miss Vicks. Oh. Oh. All due respect, Captain. You're a shit pilot, and you're gonna need all the help you can get. Hey. Imminent. You know, if I actually cared about those characters, I might have given a shit about that sacrifice just now. Uh, you guys might want to start running. Like now. Like, like, yeah, there we go. Fuck it now. Get a fucking move on. Maybe go sideways actually, because it's like a donut shape going forwards. Yeah, if you guys run sideways, you're probably alright. I'll do like a zigzag. Go, go, di go diagonal. Go diagonal. You'll be alright if you go diagonal. Oh my god, what the fuck? Why didn't they run sideways? Those fucking morons. It was literally going in a straight line. Oh my god. What are you doing? Move. <laughs> well done. You got way luckier than you deserved in that situation. Talk about forced tension. This is David. You need to get out immediately. 
He's coming for you. Oh. Who's coming? Is Christopher Eccleston alive? Yeah, there he is. Here he comes. Die? Is that the best line you've got? Oh, wow. That's pretty freaky looking. It's like Davy Jones' giant Kraken monster, but not quite as giant. Oh, ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay, so this is going to be the birth of the Xenomorph now. I can predict that the Xenomorph is going to be what ends the movie. The last shot of the movie, 100% guaranteed, is going to be the Xenomorph bursting out of that guy. And it'll show us the alien that we all know and love. I mean, if you were a Christian, why would... Like, why, how come it didn't say in the Bible anything about aliens and shit? And then God made this planet with aliens and they have a load of black stuff. And if you touch the black stuff, it'll make weird things happen. <laughs> There's just something inherently funny I'm about that. Quite all right. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that was intentional or not, but that was pretty funny. And I'm still searching. It wasn't shit, um, but definitely wasn't good, I'll tell you that. Haha, <laughs> here we go, here's the Xenomorph, come on, show me it. Show me the fucking Xenomorph. There it is! Oh, come on! Let me see it, let me see it, let me see it. 